Hey everyone, thanks for joining this training. My name is Vlad Taman, and I'm the owner and founder of Trader Foundation, where we focus on creating profitable traders through one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you're here, then you either have struggled to be profitable trading options, you're simply afraid of them, or maybe you're just new to it and don't know where to start. If that's you, then you're at the right place. Today, I'm going to show you the exact strategy I have taught hundreds of my clients and it's also the same strategy I use myself to be able to leave my demanding 20-year director position at T-Mobile. And I did that so I can focus more time with my wife, raising our son and our newborn daughter at the time. So I'm not going to waste your time here. So let's dive into the forum process and get you making some serious profits. The forum process is an acronym that consists of four simple steps that start with M. This makes it easy to remember. So the first step is to map out your time frames. This is where you are going to keep it simple and just use two of them. You're going to use the six month daily chart to find the entries and you will use the four hour chart to manage the trade after. So let's go to thinkorswim and review. So here we are with thinkorswim. Now we're going to be using thinkorswim because they have a great feature called on demand. Now what the on-demand feature lets us do is go back in time, be able to look at different charts and test our strategy. In fact, when I created the strategy, I back tested it back for one year to make sure the results are actually accurate. So before we begin, just so all you understand, we're going to be putting in different time frames. We're going to be finding different positions. I'll show you how easy it could really be. And then we're actually going to put in a trade and go to the future one day or two days, depending, and see what our account would look like if you did trade that. Now we're going to go over three different uh, entry points that we could use, different ways we could do that. So let's begin. So first thing is when you're looking at time frames, there are two time frames you want to worry about. You want to worry about on the left here, which is your daily time frame. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a time frame that is six months okay daily so you see I already created it now you might wonder how do I set this whole thing up if you've never used think or swim don't worry I'm actually at the end of this training as long as you stay till the end I'm gonna send you my workspace so you literally click download and everything will look exactly like mine so you don't have to worry about setting it up uh, I do use other tools like stockcharts.com which are which is a different platform, but for this situation, so I could show you how the strategy works, this is a great tool to use. So you'll set up the daily chart for six months, and then we're gonna use that to find our points. On the other side, we're gonna have a four hour chart, so a 30 day, four hour chart. And what that's gonna give us a chance to do is actually a trade with the specific time point. So again, we plot our points on the daily and then we trade on the hourly uh, every uh, four hours, which is two candles per day. Again, we're not day trading here, so we're not using five minute, 10 minute, one minute, none of that, because that's a little too stressful. This is the way we want to trade so you're able to do it without, uh, without sitting in front of a screen or anything like that. All right, so that's the first M. The second M is where we mark the exact entry points. Now, just an FYI, you do need to have technical analysis skills to some extent. However, if you stay till the end of the video, I will email you my foundational course that I usually sell for $997 at no charge to you. Towards the end of the video, I will also give you some information how you can get a free coaching call as well. So let's jump back into Thinkorswim and mark the entry points and exit points. All right, so we're back here on Thinkorswim. Again, we got the day chart on the left-hand side here of six months and a four-hour chart of 30 days of the same stock. So we're using SPY here, which is a very liquid stock to use to make plays. There are other stocks as well. We want to keep it simple for now, and we'll just use this one. Um, now, we're going to pick a random day. For us, so what's cool about this system here is you, you're actually able to click on something called on demand and be able to go back in time to make trades. 
and then we could actually see exactly how much we make. So this is a great tool for you to use to be able to put in a trade and then be able to see exactly how much you would make in that trade. And I'll show you exactly how to do that. So let's just go in here for now. We'll go to, uh, we're not going to go March 2020. Let's stick to maybe 2022 and um, we'll pick, I don't know, something kind of close. We'll say November. Uh, we'll do November 7th. It's a Monday, so it's the start of the week. And we're going to change the time. It's military time. So I would like to look at around 3 o'clock or higher, which is, means it's about an hour left in the market. So I could see the full pattern emerging. So we could actually trade towards the end of the day. I know a lot of people want to trade in the beginning of the day, but you could get a great move towards the end of the day because it's a little safer because we understand what we see. So let's just say we go in here. Now, our goal is to find the right entry point. So looking over here, you can see there's a minute chart here and we have the, uh, I'm sorry, we have the daily chart and the hourly chart. So the hourly chart just divides the two days into two. So based on what I'm seeing here, now we're not always going to have a great position. However, we need to make sure on a daily chart, we find the right entry points. So I use something called the quadrants. Quadrants are pretty cool and it's a drawing tool you could use and you could set up specific points. So if I go into this little thing right here, they usually look like these lines. You'll see some solid lines and some dashed lines. So it says quadrant lines and you could set up specific categories for that. So I'll tell you exactly what I mean in a second. So our goal is to really look for the right points. So on the daily chart, I try to find the exact point where there's uh, a very close point for resistance so you can see the candle of this day is right here and again I go over candles in my foundational course which I will provide if you stay till the end of this uh, training I got you and I'll send it to you in the emails so over here you could tell this is a great point you could just look and draw a line where there's points that are meeting which is right here and right here and what we're going to do, we're going to click on one of these points. Now, the key here is you want to click on the top of the body of the candle, not the wick. So again, if you look at this candle here, this is called the wick, which is just shadow, just a stick. It means that the stock was there at some point. But we want to pick the one where it opened, which was right here. It was strong, strong body, perfect. And we want to get it right to the body because that's going to give us less risk. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on here and we're going to drag it to the point that I feel is a good entry. Now, before I do that, I'm, what I'm going to do just to make it easier for you guys to see, usually I'll just put that here or whatever. Uh, I'm going to actually delete this for a second so you could see it closer. So I'm going to zoom in here so you could see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to put it right here. We already measured it with the other point. Um, and we're going to add a drawing. We're going to put the quadrant in here. And we're going to put it next to the candle we like, the, the which is the last candle. But we're going to do it to the bottom of the body where it, basically it opened today. So that's around right here. So what we created here are points. Now I'm going to zoom in here so we could look at what these points are. Basically what we have here are zero. So this is where the stock is at now. 38.2%, 50%, 61.8, and 100. So these are known as the Fibonacci points. They have been very well tested uh, based on volatility, based on human demand, and based on human psychology. These are points you want to really look at to see if the stock is going to reverse, stay, stay there, or continue to move forward. So the rules are this. If the stock gets to this area, we all, the only thing we have to look at is volume. So if there's strong volume, you see this bullish volume coming in, and we have a strong candle here. Now, we want to make sure it's the right entry. So the first thing we want to look at is you can see the stock went all the way down. Now, there's going to be three different pieces to entries. This one is called the bounce profit, where it bounces off this line here, okay? And then you can see on here exactly where this line is, you could see it's bouncing off this gap. Okay, so it filled this gap and then it bounced up to this one, 
which shows that it, there's, a re, there's a reversal starting and this was the official confirmation of it. So it's a perfect candle to get in. And now we have the biggest thing that people always miss is, okay, if we could get in, when do we get out? Where's the exit? So we're gonna actually look at it together. And here's what we gotta know. If it gets to 38.2 the next day, we wanna look at that and say, okay, if it's next day, how much is the volume? If we feel that the move is going to be strong and we're going to continue seeing it go high, considering the volume strong, we could make a decision. Either we take some of the position or maybe take half of the position and scale or we continue going up. Totally, whatever your choice is, it's that simple. So in this case, we decided, you know what, we want to trade here. We feel like it's going to be bullish. I mean, So the max you want to go to is right here. Now you might wonder, oh man, well what if it keeps going? We're not here to gamble, guys. We're here to treat this as a business. So based on, on supply and demand uh, and psychology of humans, how they've been trading since the 1800s, this is usually the area that's maxed out. Anything else, you're stretching it out and you're just waiting for a reversal that could really, really hurt your trade. So treat it like a business. Make sure once it gets here, unless you get lucky and it goes up a little higher quickly, that's fine too. Obviously, we'll take that. So now we have this point, what we're going to do is we're going to go and trade. The third M is to manage the price movement. This is where we can watch our profit soar. The key here is to not get emotionally involved in the trade, but to simply trust the process. A lot of people get faked out and get out of it too early because they didn't let the move fully develop. So let's take a look. So we're looking here, obviously the, we know where the stock's at, it's, it's around 379. It's around 1509, so that's 309 p.m. Eastern. Market's gonna close in about 50 minutes, so we decided to make a trade. So we're gonna go into trade, and you'll see a lot of these contracts. Now, here's my strong advice to you. Try to trade around 21 or higher. And the reason is because there's something called time decay. So with time decay, every day, you're losing money with options because you're paying for time. So if you want to really make money here, what you want to do is you want to be able to pay a little more, but give yourself less risk. So maybe 30 days, 32, 39, whatever, because now maybe it doesn't go your way there exactly for the first day or second day. And we'll learn about that. That's okay because once it reverses with the volume we saw, you'll be just fine. Whereas you start buying these little days, that's almost like day trading and you're just causing yourself to get a heart attack because it won't you won't be able to survive the loss. So let's just say we're, in this case, we'll go with 39 days. As far as the trade, make sure the strikes, you could see purple and black, which if you can, all you could do, you could click here, go to all, it'll show you all of them, all the strike points you'll see that there's purple and black. So depending what you're using on thinkorswim, it's like that, but there's always a, um, a differential in color. What it means is this one's inside the money. So right now the stock's at around 379, 83. So this is inside that. So it means it's already, you're making money. We wanna go one outside of it. So we're gonna go one outside on the call because we're bullish and we got ourselves uh, an asking price right here. So we want to do the asking price. Click on it. Let's just say then we pick the contracts we want. So let's, in this case, I'm just using a random number. Uh, we're going to buy 10 contracts, which is 12.63. In this case, it should cost us $12,630. Again, if you're buying one contract, it'll cost you a lot less, whatever it is, it is. Uh, if the less days you get, obviously it's going to be a lot cheaper. So if you're starting with a smaller account, you could do less days and that's totally fine. You just have to be a little bit more right on the move. This is a very safe trade. So we put that in, boom. So you see that this went through. Now, if I go to monitor, you're gonna notice we have the trade here. There it is. There's our 10 contracts. It expires uh, December 22nd. And this is what we're making right now. Now, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to a chart and see what happens. So right now we have a pretty solid candle. We feel good about it. But the key is let's see what happens next. The fourth M is to make an exit or get out of the trade. There are numerous ways to do this. You can either get out with full profit or maybe scale the position if you feel like it can continue moving forward. 
the same goes with a position that didn't go your way. So let's take a look. So once we get the move here, we want to use the four hour chart to trade from here. So you could actually maximize the whole thing here and see what happens. So I'm going to go into November 8th and I'm going to do maybe like 11 a.m. just to see what happens and see where the stock's at. Let's see if it went our way. All right. Very nice. So look at this. So now the stock did go our way. You see the reversal's working and it's somewhere in the middle right here. So we've got a solid box. So the question now is, you know, are we making money, right? You could actually go back and look. Now, make sure when you go to monitor that this is not pre-buffering. So, so it's going to take a little time because it's going back in time to see what's going on. So you could see the stock's moving, but let's see what money we have made. Okay, so you could see we are actually up 16%, which is pretty solid to me. 60, so si okay, there you go, 16%. You see we made $2,000. Pretty solid considering we only had it for literally one hour or two hours in the market. Now, we could either continue here. Now, we could, we could look at volume, see how it's doing. In my opinion here, we could say, look, we have a pretty good move, right? Let's let's go back to our order zoom here. We have a pretty strong move, and it's coming close to this middle line. So, because the, I see the volume starting to decrease here, I would say, you know what? Let's take some of our trade. So, you could actually go in here, right? And create a closing, uh, I'm sorry, go to monitor. Go into your contract, create a closing order, and sell maybe, we could sell maybe, I don't know, we'll sell... Uh, four contracts so we could we could put that in here confirm send so now we're good to go we, now we we just actually secured some of that money like 40 percent of our money which is great it, now you can see here it says 1269 though even though uh you know we we've made 2120 we we've already secured some of it so it's, we're still up 1651 percent so let's go back to our chart now Everything's looking solid. Let's continue going a few hours out. So let's just say now it is, um, uh, we'll do 13, which is 1 p.m. Eastern. Look at that. So now we're really inside here. So this is a great trade for us. Volume's beginning to even out, which is even better. So we could continue going here, and you could see we're up again. Uh, we can't, Actually, we have to just wait for it to pre-buffer. But while it's pre-buffering, I want to show you here on a daily chart here, you could see how strong this move really is. We're really, really coming together here. And if you look, we are now up 23%. 23%. So we've made a really, really good amount of money there. This is a good chance for us to probably get out. So it's totally up to you or... <clears throat> Let's look at it, right? You want to make it a little bit a better educated decision here. Would I get out? Well, the volume is still strong. So to me, we could continue going or we could take a little bit more of our gain. In this case, we're just going to continue to see what's going to happen. So in this case, I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to put it uh, towards the uh, 3.15 p.m. Eastern. So market's going to close in 45 minutes. Now look at this. Now it's beginning to kind of have this even move. I'm personally thinking I'm done here. So I'm going to go back to monitor, create my closing order, sell, get out of that whole position. Boom. So we are out. And why am I out? Because what I don't like, one, it hit exactly where I needed to hit right here. Why are we going to risk anymore? Okay. You don't want to be greedy here. Now what I could do just, in just, just to see what happens. First, let's look at the daily. So you can see even on the daily here, we're starting to see a little bit of uh, uh, fatigue on this stock. It's beginning to kind of, you know, starting to reverse back. It had a lot of move. Volume slightly down. I, I'm totally okay with that, with that situation there. Again, we made good money. We made $2,600. So if you remember, we did, uh, we, I think we did about um, $12,000 uh, total. So if you do the math here, which I'm doing right now, yeah, that's about 22, 23%. Very, very solid day. Very solid trade. That's one trade. That's all we did, guys. One trade. Um, so we're good to go. Now, 
let's just say we go back to the chart and we could look and say, hey, let's go back, go to November 9th and see what happens here. And give us, give it a second. And you could see, actually, this is a great example. Let's go back to, let's zoom out a little bit here. And you could see on a four hour chart here. Yep, four hour chart. It actually reversed exactly right at that point. So we made the right move and you can see it, it's beginning to come down. A lot of times people trade, they think this is gonna keep going up, but that's not always the case. Usually the most popular place that it's gonna stop at are these Fibonacci points. And that's exactly what it did, as long as you place them correctly. So really you just place it in the right spot, let it flow, and stop at the right spot as well, and you're good to go on that. It's that simple. So you can see we did all that now in one shot. Now let's continue looking at a few other pieces here. So there are different entry strategies that we could utilize. So far, we did something called the bounce profit strategy. So this is where the stock bounces off a support line, quadrant, or a moving average. Now we mostly focused on the quadrants to make it easier. However, there are other ways we could utilize that we're not gonna go over in this training. Now there are two other ways we could utilize this when it comes to an entry. The other one is ready, set, explode. This is when a stock breaks out of a consolidation. So let's just say the stock is kind of in one little area, it doesn't really move much, and all of a sudden it comes out and starts breaking that trend. There's a specific way you could trade that. Now a lot of people try trading this, but they either get the breakout wrong or they get out of it too late or too early. Then there's ride the wave. This is when a stock broke out and keeps going. So what happens if the stock is just on a tear? This could be a good thing, but also very stressful because you don't know when to actually stop, when to exit the stock, when to scale the stock. So these are specific ways where you could really profit. As of right now, we went over the bounce profit strategy. Now let's review the other two strategies now. Okay, so now we are seeing a great example of ready, set, explode. So what I want you to focus on is on this area right here. So let's think about what happened here. The stock went down and then after a while, the buyers and sellers get a little confused and a little hesitant so usually after a huge move like this there's always going to be this time of consolidation and i'll just zoom in right here to really show to you on a daily chart of what that looks like so this right here is exactly that you could see it formed a channel so we could actually draw a line right next to this body kind of here and also on the other side with the lowest body so that right there is also known as a flag pattern and what ready, set, explode, it means that we are getting ready for it to explode. And the minute it does, that could be a good trade. So this is January 6th, I believe, 2023. If you'd like to go back, you could look at it yourself at about uh, 12 o'clock. So let's look what happens on this one when we get to 3.30, which is a great time to see a full story appear. Now, if you look here. This is what we were waiting for, a beautiful breakout. So you didn't want to get into a stock here, but now you're ready to get in. You want to be able to get in when it broke out. So again, I'll just zoom in here. You could see totally broke the channel, okay? And it broke it, sorry about that, on this huge volume. So this is a perfect entry point. So what we want to do, we're going to use our quadrants once again to do all that for us. Now, let's first zoom back out here so we could draw our quadrants. So our goal is going to be to use this part of it as the next resistance point. So look what I do here. I'm going to zoom in because this is our lowest point and this is our highest point. So basically the way you got to look at it, the last time this stock had a move was right here. And now we're getting a reversal here. So we'll take the highest point, bring it down to the lowest part of the candle, not the wick, the candle. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to create a drawing. Again, we're going to set up the quadrants. And I'm going to put them right there. 
Now I am going to throw something in here just off topic. If you right click here and you, um, if you, sorry about that, click right here, edit properties, you'll see that there are different numbers here. I would recommend switching the color to white. That's what I have it on. And look at these numbers, 0, 38.25618 and 1. Those are the exact numbers you want to use for your um, quadrants. They are, again, the Fibonacci numbers been proven for many, many centuries now that they work. So according to this, now we have everything set up. So we want to go on a four-hour chart and start uh, looking for specific entry points. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to maximize this so we can really focus on here. So our goal is to really get around 393. Look over here, see our volume, make a decision if we want to exit, scale, or just continue moving. And we want to do that at every single line, all the way up to 410, if that's where it gets to. Uh, after 410, we really just want to get out of it, and we are done. So let's let's do this then. We are right now uh, almost at the end of the market. We're going to go to trade. Again, when you're going to trade, make sure that you could see all the strike points so you don't get confused. And you want to be at around maybe 21 days, anything higher than that, something like that. So let's just say I decided to go with 21 days. Um, and you're going to go scroll down. So if you're bullish, you're going to do a call option. If you're bearish, you're going to do a put option. And you go to the ask price, right outside the money, the first one. You're going to click here. And basically, we're going to put an order. So again, we could do 10 contracts. Press confirm. We're spending this amount of money and see what happens. Let's let's continue with this chart. So we have, we're losing $75 here and see what happens. So we're going to go in here back to our chart. And let's, let's go to the 9th. There's a weekend there. Now, there are things you have to know about what day to trade, things like that. We're not going to go too much into trading here, but there are specific days you could trade that are actually going to give you more uh, stability with the movement and the time as well. Let's go to the ninth and let's go to, we'll start actually towards the end of the market, see how that goes. Okay, interesting move here. So if you look, you could see it actually hit 393. So what we want to do here, let's go back maybe 11 o'clock in the morning and see how that looked here. Yep, so basically it kind of shows the same thing. Here's the first part of the day. Here's the second part of the day. Now, when you're looking at this part of the day, this is a great example of you could see the volume is still pretty high but we have to make a decision of what to do here in this scenario we could scale the position because we did get a nice little gap up and collect some money now let's look at how our money is looking right now so now we're here in january you could see the first contract we are officially up 33 percent you could see it's starting to fluctuate here so to me when i see 33 percent, you want to have some sort of goal of where you want to be Anything past 25%, you should be ecstatic. It's a great move. And overall, I'm happy. So let's just say in this situation, we decide to sell the contracts. And maybe we decide to go for half of the money. So that way, if you sell half, you're kind of playing with the, your winnings now. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to sell that. So if we go back to monitor now, you could see still 32%. But the open is a lot less now because we collected some profits. Perfectly done here. So let's go back to our chart and see what happens if we increase this now. Now, this is in the morning. This is all in the morning. Personally, just so before we continue, just see there is a hammer candle here, which is still a great sign and it's still a bullish sign. So getting out of it, you don't necessarily need to, but let's see. You know, you want to secure the wins. You, again, we're here to make sure we, have, we are profitable, we're not chasing. So I'm going to go to now, we'll say uh, 12, see what happens here. And you can see now, now it's beginning to kind of fall off. And if you go back to the full day done, like towards the end of the day here. Okay, so you could see now it's beginning to fall down. So the question is, we are still in this trade, right? So we still have this money. And you could see, even though we collected, now we're losing a little. So is that okay? That's fine. That is why you want to buy multiple days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the 10th and just see what's happening now. 
Now you could see the 10th, it had a little bit of a switch here, but now it's in the 50% line between these two, which is not a bad sign. We could see here, if we go to our monitor, again, it's pre-buffering here. And we're just going to forward it in a second just to see what's going on. So right now you should feel good because because of this line, you collected your money. So you have all these days, so many days to make up for it. So you can see we're down now only $57. That's nothing compared to what we already won. So let's continue on our chart here and go into the next day, the 11th, and see what happens here. Okay, and now you can see a full recovery here. Full recovery. All it was was a little bit of one bad day. That's all it was, and that was just a bounce. That's it. That's why it's important. Scale your positions so you can continue moving forward. Volume is still pretty decent. Let's look at how much we're making. And look at this, guys. We are up $1,362, which just means we are 36% up overall on our position. That is fantastic. To me, we could probably go in here so you could make a decision. Again, we have five contracts. We're going to probably, let's just say, sell two. You know, get some more wins. That's always a good thing to do. You could go back here. You could see number went down because we collected that money. And now we could continue going forward because the volume's still pretty decent. Um, so let's see what happens here. So we're going to go to the 12th. Okay, and now you see this breakout. Beautiful breakout, but now we're seeing red candles. So if you look here, you can see the volume is still strong here. Volume is beginning to come down. When I'm seeing this, I might want to get out of this. So let's look at our overall play. Again, you got to let it rebuffer here. All right, so we're up, up 609, which is 40% on our move. That should be good enough. We could go into a closing order here and set that up for us here. Send. We're out. That's it. So we just made 40% on that one trade. And guess what, guys? You don't have to necessarily sit in front of a screen to do this. You could set up, a, there's different tools that they have where it could just ring automatically for you. We talk a lot about that with our mastermind group and things like that. You could just set it up and if it hits a certain number that you could set it for, good to go. So again, great play right there. 40% win with ready, set, explode. So at this point, you really understand the 4M process. There's the mapping out of the proper time frames marking the entry and exit points, managing the price movements, and making an exit. On top of that, we learn different types of entry points. There's the bounce profit, ready, set, explode, and the one we didn't really get into is ride the wave. So at this point, you can start using these tools today and you will see the results pretty quick. However, this is not everything to the whole strategy. There's actually a lot more to it. I'll give you an example. What if the stock goes against you? Sure, you will win 80 to 90% of the time, but what happens the other 10 to 20% of the time? How do we manage our losses in a calculated manner? Or how do you find other eligible stocks if SPY has no place today? So again, we want to be able to find different stocks, how to screen them in an instant to be able to find it and say, hey, you know what? There's no play here. No worries. Let me go into something else. Or how about solidifying your decision? So yes, we are giving you the most solid way to really be able to go into a, a trade and out of a trade. But we also go over a few other tools that we go in step by step, like moving day averages and a few other things that could just solidify your decision even more. Or how to create a full-blown trading plan that you can utilize while still working. Let's face it, not everybody's just going to be able to trade all the time. So you have to be able to create something that you could still work and be able to create an income from this and maybe eventually start to leave the job there or create an exit plan. Also, how to find entries in any market. So markets change. Sometimes it's bullish, sometimes it's bearish, sometimes it's flat. You got to be able to adapt to whatever it is that's going on. Or how to use paper trading log that will monitor your true progress. So accountability and seeing your results even when you're paper trading or real trading will show you progress you want to be able to see exactly what's going on and have somebody critique you on the little shifts you could make also how you can start trading where your losses are capped no matter how far the stock goes against you this is something a lot of our students love 
What do I mean by that? Well, think about this for a second. If you have a situation where you could get into a trade and know that the most you could lose is $400 no matter what, that's a pretty good situation there. People go in with more confidence with it. Now, you might have your uh, gains capped as well, but knowing that, hey, both are capped makes a huge difference. And we'll show you how to do that. Or how do you take profits and use them to create a more passive income with the paycheck collector strategy? Now, this strategy has a 90% win rate and you can make 10 to 30% in profits with one to two trades per month. And as a bonus, I will show you how it works in the foundational course I will include after you finish watching this whole training. So where do you go from here? There is a difference between a dabbler and a master. Dabblers try new things all the time, but never take the time to master one. It can be either from boredom, laziness, or they just simply don't want to invest time, money, or effort to actually mastering something that can change their life. They are the type of people that always say they should, but never make it a must. They simply should all over themselves and stick to silly shortcuts that never get them anywhere. If that's you, then this is where we part ways. You can take the strategy and I will still send you the course in your email for joining. But from here on out, this part is for the masters, the ones that are action takers and make it a must in their life to be above average. So if you're the one that wants to take action and change your life and your family's life, then I want to talk about my exclusive coaching program I developed that is limited to 16 truly motivated people where I work with you one-on-one -on -one to get you to become a true trading master. Let's begin. Let's quickly review what this academy entails. It can be summarized into what we call the five C's to wealth. So the first C is the content, which gives you a comprehensive step-by-step -step process on how you can make a consistent income on the market without the chaos and stomach turning that unpredicted losses can provide. We then have the coaching. This is where we make sure to hold you by the hand and make sure you have ultimate clarity and accountability it takes to get you out of that soul sucking job. We then provide the chat room. Now this is where all the masterminds come together in the most powerful network to support each other with one profitable win at a time. Then comes critique. Critique is a crucial one for us. Our goal is not to just get you in the academy. We are determined to have you achieve higher standards than you even have for yourself. For that to happen, we need to be transparent with you. And that's exactly what we intend to do. Let's face it, most people tell you what you wanna hear, so there are no issues. We will break that pattern and might tell you something you may not like the sound of. But in the end, that's how you grow to become a new you who will break out of the norm of working for a company till they die. And finally, consistent life support. This is great for interacting with us on live when you have questions, but that's not the main reason why we did this. Once we get you to leave your job and make money work for you, our goal at this point is to give you the support you need at all times to keep you consistent. Remember, becoming your own boss means you have to be self-motivated. So we figured we will stick around with you forever to make sure that you are. At the end of the day, we put all these pieces to the program to develop not just a new strategy for you, but also take it a step further and create a new you. Someone who is ready to take on the market strategically and more importantly, emotionally. Now there are no shortcuts to anything that's truly life-changing. And this is no different. So the bad news is that for you to be able to change your life, you will have to commit to watching the videos doing your homework, getting on the coaching calls, practice trading, and really engaging in the lives. But the good news is, if you do these pieces, you will have a consistent paycheck of 10% or more coming in on a monthly basis. You will be able to leave your job in three to six months with the paycheck collector strategy. And you will no longer live your life burned out, 
stressed, and unfulfilled. So if you feel like this may be the answer for you, the question is, how much is the program? Well, first and foremost, I want to stress the fact that what we don't offer. We are not Walmart. A lot of programs are focused on this type of business model. And just to be clear, let's review what that type of business is. Walmart is a company that's focused on getting a lot of crowds into the store. Just like a lot of stock courses put their efforts in overcrowded chats that are very easy to run, but produce very minimal results. They focus on cheaper quality products so they can get a lot of people to buy them, which is very similar to a stock companies selling a few videos and some get rich quick strategies that end up not producing as expected. Walmart also saves a lot of money by keeping the standard of their employment low. This way they pay less and let the cheap products sell themselves without needing any help from anyone. The majority of stock companies create the same effect by not being very reachable. And if you're lucky, you might even have maybe a group session once in a while. Overall, Walmart is not a specialty store and it's focused getting the majority to do business with them. Most stock companies focus on the same by offering a cheap monthly subscription fee so they can get as many users as possible and provide them a service that you would not expect a lot from because let's face it, the price is cheap. So if you're looking for something that's cheap, that's promising you crazy returns within days, then I would turn this video off now because this program is simply not for you. So now that we are clear of what we are not, let's discuss what we are. We model ourselves more like a Gucci brand. Now Gucci is not trying to get everyone in their store because they understand that they can't provide the service they want if they had such a large crowd. So their prices are designed to only bring the ones that want the best customer experience. We believe the same and that's why we focus on one-on-one -on -one coaching. We are not the cheapest out there. Let me say that again. We are not the cheapest out there. Our prices are set to make sure that we get 15 students a month and not a single person more. That's how we can make sure you get the best support possible and produce the results that come with it. Now Gucci focuses on luxury products in order to justify their pricing and to make sure that when you wear their clothes, they feel great and it stands out in the crowd. Now we stand out with our professional comprehensive courses that give a step-by-step -step process on exactly what to do for you to make money and we follow it up with our live sessions five days a week with our mastermind group for even more support. Now Gucci hires only top-notch professionals to make sure their customers get treated well. We love that idea and we made sure to have a coach that has been a client in the past that was able to leave his job to do what they love and that's to mentor others to change their lives. Let's face it, the most valuable asset to anyone is their experience and we are willing to pay for that. Now Gucci is not looking to grab every Tom and Bill to buy their product. They only want the top quality clientele to represent their brand and in result, value rises. Our vision for the company is strictly based on the results we are getting from our clients and we charge for it. So with that said, I want to give you an example of a couple members that decided to go the Gucci route. So here we have Felix, who was in the banking industry for over 15 years. He was burned out for a long time and kept getting laid off on top of that. Now he made a decision to stop slaving for others who never appreciated him and took all the time away from his family. When I talked to him on the phone, I remember him almost crying in tears considering how much he's been through. So he took action and in 90 days was able to quit his job to be able to spend time with his wife and daughter. And now he pursued his dream of playing disc golf all over the world. Now Lori has an incredible story where she lost her business and was unsure of what her future holds. She was very skeptical on learning how to trade. 
but she decided to take a leap in life and go all in. Well, good thing she did. She ended up making over $100,000 in a span of four months. $100,000. Not too bad for a beginner who didn't even know how to buy a stock. Now, mind you, these are extreme results that only the people that are truly committed and take a lot of time to do it really get in such a short amount of time. We also have Michelle. Now, Michelle is really an example of no excuses. She suffered a stroke and lost a lot of her cognitive abilities. Her eyesight was limited and extreme fatigue was a huge factor. She was told that she won't be able to work and should be on disability. This was not part of her identity and she wasn't going to have it. She wanted to make sure she contributes to her family and decided to make trading her financial vehicle. Although it was more challenging for her, she didn't give up. And we refused to give up on her as well. She's now able to contribute to her family financially like never before, but making consistent gains in the market. Now for time's sakes, we are just sharing a few cases from hundreds that we have. And of course you can check out others as well. So at this point, the choice is really yours. Just like in the matrix, you have to choose the red pill or the blue pill. You can either continue to try figuring out the market and fail like the 95% do, or hey, maybe you will be the top five that do figure it out. But that takes a lot of failure, trials and tribulations, and loss to get there. Or you can just get a mentor. As Tony Robbins says, the quickest way to get to where you want to go is by role modeling someone who has done it already. Now you can continue losing money on the market by experimenting with some random strategies that leave you lost in the end because you never had anyone show you the ropes in the beginning. Or you could get the ultimate clarity where you will have your own foundation built from ground up and never have to rely on social media, YouTube, or any other outside source that will sway your decision. Now, you can make the decision like most to justify why you have to stay at your job and how making this move is too expensive or any other story that will help you sleep at night. But remember, the worst emotion to ever experience is regret. In 20 years from now, the last thing I want you to ever do is wake up and realize you had a chance to turn your life around a lot earlier. Just think about it. If you would have made a move six months ago, you would be leaving your job today. Or maybe it's time for you to take massive action. Let the fear go and shift the momentum of your life now. You can be the 10% that can make it happen. But instead of you saying you should, you have to make it a must. And that's how winners get created. So if you are ready to take action and change your life, then you can book a call with us by clicking the button below. This is where we discover more about you and see how we can customize this program to make it work for your current life situation. Whether it has to do with your lack of experience, which is not a bad thing by the way, or maybe it's your work schedule or any other obstacles in the way that are stopping you from getting out of your job and living the life on your terms. So if you feel like this program may be the answer for you and you fit the criteria, but you just want to do it later, that's totally fine. But I want to be as direct as possible with you. We can only take a limited amount of people into the program in order to keep our success rate high. So if you want to start right away, let's get on the call ASAP and start working together to get you making 10K a month. Also, please remember some months are crazier than others and book quick. So we won't reject you if you qualify, but you might have to wait a few weeks or months until we take on the new students, which is another reason you want to book your call right away and reserve your spot. Now, when you book, you will not be talking to me. You'll be talking to our top advisor who's been with us for a long time. The reason for this is because I do a lot of content development, trainer trainer, in addition to still doing lives and personal one-on-ones. It's simply impossible to be able to take on all the calls we are getting. But be rest assured that I trained our advisor personally and you are in good hands to get all the clarity you need to get set up for the journey of your financial freedom. So once again, 
You can book your call by clicking on the button and picking the time that's best for you. Thank you again for taking this journey with me. I'm really looking forward to seeing you change your life and follow your passion.